Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom controller overlay so you don't mess up every time. Okay, first open Google. Next, open gamepadviewer.com. Next, move around your controller so you can, you know. Oops. Click player one or two, but I'm using one. Click whichever one you are using. I'm using Xbox One controller you can make PS4 ones too. And then click F12 and you should see the Xbox assets. All of these, right click, open a new tab, right click, save as, make a new folder, new folder, tutorial, open that and click save. And it will pop up here. Close that get your base, save as, save, bumper, save, save as, disconnected, open a new tab, save as, save, do this for every single one. Once you've done all that, click control F, and then Xbox. Once you found Xbox, just scroll down until you see Xbox One controller styling. Copy all of Xbox One controller styling until it says beginning and end. Control C, open paste of code.org. Paste all your code. Next, open imager.com. and keep this open for later now open your photo editor of choice mine is illustrator now that it's open grab you grab all of your files from here i personally don't do quadrant so i'm going to delete it do Control a on your keyboard drag it all in there close that now all of them are opening just first thing we're starting off with is base what I usually do is search five color combinations. Now I click images, and then I find a cool one I like. I've already done this one. I like this one, so I'm gonna copy image, Control V, and now it is in Illustrator. Just drag it above here so you still have it open. Well, actually under would be better for me. You can just do control and then click. Click I and get the colour you want. I want this one. I'm gonna get rid of this and this because in my opinion it looks better. Now I'm gonna click these click that. Also with these, this one. Same with here. And then what I do with this one, put this there. I zoom in a lot. And I click this one. Click this. But I select the scissors tool and cut it here and then I'll make this the other colour click this click this one and then do this it didn't work make it that colour I do the same for over here, on the right. Once I've done that, I'm going to click the least used color around here. And by the way, I hold control and shift and then click up each one. And then I'm gonna use the lighter one here, like that. 
do that for each one. Well, that's what I do. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna control X this. Go here, paste that. And now I'm gonna just do the color combinations. Done with that, control X, paste it here. I think you get the point now. Now for these sticks, I usually, oops, I usually do the darker one inside and there uh, and on all these, like that. Then I do, sure. then I do the inside, if I can get it. Nope. Here and here. The lighter color. And I just realized that that's the click side. So I need to. And these ones. Just like that. And that's done. I've done all of the buttons and everything now you do file export export as just click export click OK but make sure when you're exporting it that this is screen 72 ppi and that that wait whatever click OK do this for each one Now once you've exported all of them, just exit out of this. And say no for each one. Once you've done that, just open Imager. But before you open Imager, go on Xbox Assets. And on each one, you have to make sure the resolution of this is the same to your PNG file. So 196 by 97, that's the same base.png that is wrong because it's 750 by 630 on xbox controller and that is 631 so we need to make the bottom pixel is fine it's the top one make it go down one pixel boom control s close now bumper Make sure it's the same, but it's not. Do this for each one. Okay, now that you've done this, hold con- well, accept cookies. Hold control and click each PNV PNG file. Now drag it all into Imager. Wait for it says upload complete. Now paste of code. Click on that. Highlight this base.svgz, which is this base. Copy, paste, dot png. Like write that. Do this for each one. And if you need to check which one is which. It says it here, trigger.svgz, oh I don't know what it is, here, trigger.svgz, that, it's highlight that, oh look I found it, trigger, and bumper, obviously, bumper, I don't use quadrant, start select, here, AXBY, 
pretty obvious. XBY. Stick is obviously thumbsticks. D pad. Everyone knows what a D pad is. That's it. Control A, Control C, styled up CSS. Highlight it all again. And Control V. And it should have worked just like that. It's not perfect every time though. I don't know what's wrong with mine. But anyway, that's how you do it. Just like that. Just go here, generate URL. I, I like to click that on. Copy that. Open your OBS. Click plus. Browser. Okay. Paste that. Width for the Xbox controller 750 by 630. Control A, Control V, and then this. Click OK. Boom. That's how you do it. I don't know how you can mess this up after watching a tutorial, but okay. See you soon. Bye bye.